All right, so we're going to start on the left side. You can see we have a 13.1 big IP, and we're going to use journeys in you know, two different ways. Uh, we're going to do together a full migration and a per application migration. Uh, and then the target uh, big IP will be uh, Velos a tenant running 15.1. So let's get started. So here is the main screen of the journey migration tool where a customer can pick either full or per application migration. We're going to start with a full migration. Uh, here is a few things to know to get started. Um, you know, for example, getting the master key. You know, set you know the same between the source and the de destination, and some other things. Uh, so once you annulate that part, uh, the first things to do is to give it a name. So here we're going to give it a name: uh, ISC demo full migration. And you can also uh, set a description. Description could be, for example, the name of the UCS, so you know what you're doing and can track the different migration you can do. Uh, then the next step is to either upload a UCS or you can also uh, get the big IP configuration directly from the big IP using the tool. Uh, so here we're just going to go ahead and uh, select uh, UCS uh, I have uh, already downloaded on my laptop. And as a side note, uh, if the UCS is protected with a password, uh, you can also set the password there. So now let's load the configuration. Uh, it can take a few minutes, uh, depending on the size of the UCS, and go to the next step, which is choosing the destination. So there is two modes, online mode and offline mode. Uh, for offline mode, uh, for example, you can select either uh, you know, a Velos 14 or 15 version. Uh, but in, in our case, for the demo, we're going to uh, choose online mode and uh, use uh, Velos Tenant, the 205 I'm showing on the screen, and discover it. Then once the discovery is successful, we're moving on to the next step where uh, we are showing you a screen uh, with system compatibility, showing you all the different things which are not supported on the target platform. Uh, so as an example uh, here, I'm just going to click on the trunk one because uh, on the Velos platform, trunk are not defined within the Velos tenant. They are defined at the partition level. So here you can see exactly what component of the big IP config you need to remove. Uh, and the tool helps you doing that removal. Uh, I'm not going to you know, talk about all the different things, but you can see a few names out there. So we're going to go ahead and resolve all the issues uh, flagged by the tool. And once that's done, uh, just as a side note, we can during the report, we're going to see that after. Uh, we're going to go to the next step, and here we have a very cool uh, feature, uh, the tool offer, which basically allow you to verify the configuration on a live IP, so on the VAS target I'm telling you about, right? So here we just you know, put the IP and the, and the password in there, and, and the first thing the tool is going to do is going to upload the config file, uh, run a TMSH verify config, and you can see some logs, you know, see what's going on there, why did he fail. Uh, and then that's one thing. And then the other part of, the, of this part is you can edit the configuration, uh, which is really cool because you can change an IP address, change a host name, do whatever you need to do in your uh, UCS you want to migrate to the target platform. And here we're just going to add a you know, little text here, uh, demo ISC and uh, move to the next step. So we are confirming the next step. And here we end up on a journey summary page where a uh, customer can download the UCS. Uh, you know, note we have a password uh, protected UCS. And you can also download what we call a summary report, which is a PDF report. Uh, and we're going to open it up together. Um, so the report show you in red what, what, is the, what are the pieces from the configuration we have been removed. And then uh, yellow would be what has been modified, green what has been added. So you know you can really have that uh, view of all the different things the tool has modified in your configuration. And we can see here we also track any manual change done in the, in the config here. We've got that demo ISC here. Uh, finally, last step, uh, you can also use the tool to deploy the config to the Velos tenant. We provide a number of diagnostic, as you can see on the screen right now. Uh, and then once that's done, uh, you can go ahead and uh, you know, check the deployment uh, is successful or, or, or either failing, right? So now let's move, let's switch gears and move to another type of mig migration, which we call the per application migration. Uh, so similar beginning, uh, we have a getting started page explaining a few things, what it is, and then we're going to give it a name similar to the previous demo I, I was showing you earlier with the full migration. So we're going to call it ISC demo per app. Uh, you can also put any description you like. And then uh, moving on to the next step, 
and we uh, have uh, to choose the UCS, so the source, right? Uh, so that big IP 13.1 I was telling you about. Uh, or you can also uh, use a tool to download the UCS uh, directly into the tool. So this is what we're going to do here. So login, uh, you know, password, and then the, the preference at the bottom of the page, uh, those are basically preferences which will be used to group your virtual servers into apps. So there is different roles here. So an example would be if you have, uh, you know, one of two VIPs using different ports, but same VIP, then we group them together in one app, right? Uh, which makes sense uh, because we are doing a per app migration, right? Then uh, once I'm done with setting my preferences, I end up in this uh, list of tenants and apps where I can search. And here we're going to search for a specific one, the dot nineteen, and I'm going to dive into uh, the different, uh, you know, elements. And I'm going to land on the on the big IP config page uh, where you can see the big IP uh, config. I'm showing you a certain keys, uh, so the tool also enables you to uh, migrate those certificate and keys. And similar to this, the full migration, you can edit the config, make you know any change you like, uh, save it, and then uh, once the verification is completed, you can have a preview of the AS3 declarative um, JSON file, which uh, is being used in the back end uh, in order to do the migration of that per app. And then when I'm happy with it, uh, you can go ahead uh, and dial back to uh, the application object where we're going to actually rename uh, here. So I'm just going to put a random name. This is my app, uh, my juice box here. Uh, and then from there, I'm, I'm going to confirm and move back to the tenant view where uh, you can also rename the tenant. So similar, very super easy UI to use. Select the tenant, give it a name, uh, IC 2022 in our case, uh, and confirm. So you can do that with all the tenant and app available in that app inventory I was showing you here on the screen. Uh, but you know, for the demo, we're going to go ahead and, and de deploy that app, right? Uh, so here, I'm going to go ahead on the, on the deployment page and select the ISC 2022 uh, tenant here, add it. And then we also provide diagnostics similar to the full migration type of roof where uh, you know, the tool can process a number of checks on the big IP once the migration is done. So we're just going to select one of them, apply, and hit deploy. So deploy, a uh, couple options here. Of course, we're going to put the big IP, IP address, login, password. So this is a Velof tenant I was showing you on the screen. And then uh, also big IQ here, uh, as we uh, do uh, support uh, big IQ uh, to deploy uh, the app. So hit deploy. We end up on a summary page showing you each steps done by the tool to deploy the reference object, but as well as uh, you know, the AS3 uh, JSON itself, uh, again, through the big IQ. And now let's have a look on the Big IQ application dashboard, uh, which uh, is the same one as Jim was showing earlier in the demo here. We're going to go under the unknown app, and you can see my app, ISC22 Juicebox, uh, which is uh, showing uh, you know, here on that Big IQ server I have. Uh, and I'm just showing you the same uh, AS3 JSON file uh, as a result. And this will conclude the demo. Uh, just to complete, uh, do not forget this day this uh, tool is available on the GitHub Dev Central, so please do not hesitate to, uh, to go ahead and, and uh, check it out yourself.